Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Um, so as you've seen on the headline, it's how to export your DNA. Um, so if you guys don't know, previously I did an ad search to DNA and I'll link um, the video here as well as the little icon. And you guys can see that, but um, I basically did a DNA test from Ancestry DNA, and I wanted to find out where I'm from. And so you guys can see the video for my reactions and stuff like that. Well, upon further research about which type of DNAs to do, and like which ones are have better results or which ones are more accurate, I actually found out you can export your DNA. Yes, you can export and see your actual chromosomes, well not the physical ones, but the actual um, how it's chemically broken broken down, what type of chemo chromosomes and stuff like that that you actually have and export them to a different website. And um, the website you can export them for free um, is MyHeritage. Um, so before DNA um, sampling was available, I wanted to explore the idea of making a family tree in our family because we don't really have a clue of who our ancestors are from or our great 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 grandparents are and so I started looking up ideas on how to do DNA tree how to do trees and basically so my heritage I've been knowing about them for about over 10 years and I actually had a tree there so I, I had an online tree I started doing this project about four or five years ago and so I started doing the DNA of the tree of like who belongs to what and and to this day they still send me reminders of birth people's birthdays and stuff like that because you can set like a reminder every year for birthdays and so I thought it was very interesting to see if how they read my DNA and how it differs from um, ancestry and from and from my heritage. So I'm going to talk about the differences and how to export it. So if you go to um, myheritage.com, uh, you actually can go to uh, upload my DNA. Um, so there's a little section on that and I'll provide the links down below. But they actually have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it. Basically, you go is to your um, different. There's different websites that you you have your DNA. You can export it to MyHeritage. Um, and basically, I went to my ancestry, signed in, um, just clicked on my settings um, button, and then they had um, download his download your DNA. And um, before you download it, it lets you have to put yes. And you basically, what the agreement is like, you're, they're not responsible if your DNA um, happens to be um, somewhere else. So like, that's the only thing you need to be careful about is like, there is this like DNA literally code that's going to be available to anybody. If it's going to, if it's in, your, it's in your hard drive, it's basically going to be uploading to a another server provider and stuff like that and you don't know what the server provider has with other third parties um, so basically it's just telling that like you just have to be careful about what you're going to do with your DNA and basically that so I still downloaded my DNA I just was curious on how to do it um, if there's replicas of me there's replicas of me in the future I hope not now present time but basically that's all you have to do is just download your DNA upload it to my ancestry on myheritage.com which is what I just did about a couple of months like nine months ago a couple of weeks ago on my heritage um, I still have my family tree it has my DNA so I click on my DNA and here are my results basically it's way different than ancestry DNA, and I'm gonna, so my heritage compared to my ancestry, um, how they categorized it back then when I did my video, which I again I, you guys can watch in the download in the link below. But basically, it's telling me I'm 55% um, American, 55% compared to 33. Um, 33 was Native American. 
which is the category that is homogeneous. It's like a homogeneous group, I guess, that they categorize. But basically, it's um, indigenous groups of Americas. In particular, my family would have indigenous groups of Mexico. Um, but here, it says Central American. Um, if I click on Central American, it actually highlights Mexico. Um, and it's Central America and South America, which is very interesting. Um, if you talk to a lot of Latinos, they're going to be so mad about this category because Mexico is not part of Central America and Central America is not expanded down to South America. There is totally different um, groups and stuff like that, but um, I think they should have just categorized it as um, Latin America basically. Um, it doesn't include some parts of Brazil and some parts of Argentina and Chile, but um, I wonder why, but I don't know why. So they should have just named it Latin America and not Central America, which it does make no sense because Mexico is still considered part of North America. Um, so here um, on my heritage, it breaks it down to 41.3% European, which is pretty low for what I got compared to Ancestry. Um, again, the results for Ancestry are here. Um, and for South European, it's 34%, which is interesting because I'll break it down to what. Um, Iberian is 24. Compared to the Ancestry DNA, I got 33%. Um, Italian is 9%, and then it breaks it down more to Greek is 0.9. Um, it, for me, it was Southern European or um, Italian and Greek would be considered 18% um, in ancestor DNA. So that is, I'm missing 9%, basically. Um, here's an interesting one, it's Jewish. Basically, it's a particular Jewish population that broke off and they maintained their genetic genes and because um, they kept their, like their group was together the whole time. Um, so they, they kept their genes. And basically, I'm 30%. Um, North, 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 North and West European, um, Scandinavian is 2.1%, which is similar to what I have in Ancestry, which is 1%, actually. Um, I don't have the Jewish at all in my Ancestry DNA. And then East European is Bal Balkan? Balkan. I don't know where that is. Let me click that out. Oh, it's like Romania and Bulgaria. Okay, got it. And then um, Africa is about the same, 3.5. Um, East Africa and West Africa don't doesn't have any of the Bantu that I have, supposedly, and stuff like that. So that's it. I mean, it shows to say that what I really did say in um, Ancestry is that these, these DNA results are not accurate per se they do have a margin of error um again read up on your dna but basically the margin of error can differentiate between different websites and you can be of different ethnicities behind these websites um but there is some kind of truth to it um it's not just it's not for sure so my mom got some um she took the answers to dna um test and she got some pretty different ethnicities than I did too um, but just think about it like this as DNA is like my mom put 100 pennies into a jar I pick out those 50 penny I pick out 50 pennies and I write my name on them and then I put them back and then my sister get picks out 50 pennies blind like what we're blindfolded of course and she picks some of them some of the genes are the same and some of the pennies are different so it just all depends on what genes you get but um, some of what I see in my heritage does not, it's not that far fetched for my family that it kind of like I can see it. So, in my my mom's answer to DNA, she actually got Jewish, Jewish in my heritage. So, but I do kind of see that some of these genes are um, high in my family from my cousins to my aunts and stuff like that, and, and now my mom. Um, so, this, it's not that far fetched. Now the difference between like my indigenous and my um, European is very drastically different 
but I know at least I have DNA from those regions and I have DNA from that and that's really what I wanted to know where's, where was my family and my family now didn't even know that we had Italian and Greek um, which can be explained by different things like a lot of people were commenting on ancestry um, but there was migration of European countries within Europe um, during back then in the days and so Greek being a, like a, one of the biggest conquerors in the world had conquered other places in Europe. So that is an explanation of why we might have Greek and Italian. It's a high percentage, it's really interesting. Um, so yeah, this is just a little quick, um, like kind of like step back of like me trying to look for my DNA and stuff like that. And I was just curious if my results were gonna be the same on a different website and they weren't. So just take the DNA as kind of like as kind of like a guide and not like like full 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 like fact because again there's margin error with any type of science that we um, study and there's also like um, and I also want to comment on comments that a lot of people have done on my ancestry DNA test and saying that you know like some kind of like um, hurtful stuff really um, so basically I labeled myself as Latina because I live in the United States and it's a we are a minority I am proud Mexican but you know like that is my category of what I want to label myself I want to affiliate with my friends who are not happen to be Mexican um, but I also am proud of being Mexican I played in a minority before I have um, gone to Mexico so many times and I have done research in me like research of Mexican culture my 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 um, studies are uh, specifically in Mexican indigenous groups so that is what I focus or my re most of my research was when I did my Latin American studies so it is a high emphasis on that I do have another emphasis on um, I do have a dual degree, so my other emphasis was Spanish film, um, particular as, as film from Cuba and Argentina. So um, I do affiliate with different Latinos and just the experience that they have if they are born here and they're from Lat uh, Latino parents, they go through what Mexican Americans have gone through, you know? So we shouldn't uh, dissociate ourselves or say that one is not proud of one's culture when that person you don't know is really is or really is not so what you see in a video is just a limited like probably less than one percent of my life so you don't probably don't know anything about my life or about like what I did during my um, undergraduate years or my graduate years or what I work in right now currently but um, but that's just what I wanted to make a remark about just because um, I did see a lot of those comments. I did delete some of those comments because I didn't feel they were appropriate or they did, they did um, give to the conversation about DNA and stuff like that. And I'm just a person who's interested in my past and who's interested in our family's history and stuff like that because I want to understand where we come from and I want to kind of like give that as a present to the future generations of our family members. Um, something that is like historical. And I'm a big history buff, so that's one of the things I like to learn about. I love to watch um, where my roots are from and all these other different types of shows where they trace celebrities' um, ancestors and they find out like where they are, if they're still living, or who they're related to. So it's really fun. Um, but this is just curiosity at its best, but basically I just want to share a way that you guys can export your data and find out from another website how to do it. I'm gonna try to find out if other websites do it. If they do, uh, I'll probably let you know in another update. But yeah, basically that's it. We'll have to talk to you guys later. Comment below if you guys have exported your DNA and if the results were different. Bye.